Hey, how was the testing? Uh, where you able to test the workbench? I hope you were able to insert, update, delete the data through workbench. Okay, so this video we are going to learn about another tool called dataloader.io. That's another tool which does uh, same thing what workbench can do and uh, before that let me go ahead and show you one small um, and very helpful quick thing that you can do inside salesforce so we have learned how to use data um, workbench to insert update and delete the data right and we also have learned about how we can write a query okay so workbench is is something which will help you to write queries right i mean in fact me when i still write code in apex classes and just to make sure my query is exactly correct i come here write make sure i write the query by selecting the objects and i let the workbench write my query and I, I just copy and paste the query in my apex class that's very helpful right so i'll quickly write the query here same query that we had written in the, um, the past videos select lead and uh, sorry lead once you select lead select um, id just press control button and uh, look for email and click id click name just press control and keep selecting it right so if i click on query it will basically give me all the data right and i have a data called gary what i'm going to do i'm going to just include created data as well what i can do i can click on this created date it gives me in the created date as well and the same thing i'm going to copy so i'll copy gary's created date uh, date and time which is this okay and then i'll put here where created date is equals to this done so this is going to give me all the eight records that i just now have uh, inserted okay now we know very well that how to delete these records with the help of workbench we have done these things i'm going to show you one more way how can you delete the data this particular data through salesforce developer console i have not introduced you the developer console yet let me just talk about it a bit see developer console is something that salesforce provide and we as a developer write most of our, our code inside this developer console in this console right we're going to talk about in, in detail about this console in our development session but i just wanted to show you something we have something called query editor do you see this click on this query editor and i actually have copied the same query from workbench i can paste it sorry this is not the one so i'll just quickly go to my workbench copy this and then paste it over here check this out if you click on execute this is going to give me the same result the problem here is you have to type in the code like workbench if you keep selecting the fields by pressing the control button workbench will um, you know create the uh, SOKL query on behalf of you but in the case of developer console you just have to type in the query so you can copy and paste it over here so this gives you all the data the reason why i'm showing you this is because you can actually select the records over here by pressing the control or i have selected this click on shift okay shift button if you're using uh windows or windows or mac doesn't matter just click on shift and select the last record see i have selected the first one select the last one by clicking the shift button this will help you to select all the data at a time so now all eight record has been selected okay do you see a button called delete row yeah if you click on the button called delete row this will allow you to delete all the record at a time cool right this is another way you can delete the records from salesforce 
all right see if you have let's say hundreds of record it takes time by the way salesforce uh, whenever you delete something insert something or update something in the database it takes some time and there are only eight records so it took hardly like couple of seconds but ideally when you delete like hundreds of record from here you need to wait for a couple of seconds by the way right because uh, it takes some time to get the record deleted from the database so i think this process is clear right you just copy or uh, you know write the code or if i remove the where clause okay now if i click on execute with this same where clause remove this first okay just close the window here click on execute yeah see there is no record why because with this query there is no data exist i just have deleted what if i delete the where clause and then click on execute button this is going to give me all the 27 records now let's say i want to delete this this particular record just select it and click on delete row this will just delete the data and uh, the data will be there in the recycle bin for 15 days all right so this is another way we can delete the data so this is a way to use developer console to delete the data I mean we use the developer console a lot just to query something just to make sure I, I can write the query and you know execute and see the result you can do the same thing in workbench as well but this is again handy for you to write query and if you want to delete records I can easily select whatever record I want to delete and then click on delete button thing is here whenever you want to re-execute the code make sure you close this window and then click on execute back again okay so this is what the developer console how um, you can use the developer console to delete the records let me create a separate video to talk about the dataloader.io okay see you in the next video